everybody, uh, Professor Mohammed Shara with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, single flashing uh, steam for uh, uh, multi effect distillation, thermal vapor compression. Um, you have to go to your specify or go to your distillation folder or specify your uh, uh, distillation. Okay, double clicking on your model. Okay, your model should be appear like this. Um, this is um, this model is different. It's different from the other one. Um, the other model is uh, we um, we fixed the uh, uh, turbine unit. Okay, and this one is there is no power generation. It's just for uh, thermal desalination for multi effect distillation thermal vapor compression. Our cycle is contained. Uh, of geothermal uh, well so we have here uh, hot water we have a flash uh, cyclone for uh, uh, steam generation and this is our steam, main steam okay and we have here extracted steam uh, going to steam ejector and this is motive steam for uh, for the first effect and ge the generated steam from the first effect is responsible for uh, thermal power uh, for the next effect and so on. We have um, uh, bombing units for MAD and we have here a uh, main bombing unit for geothermal well. Okay, uh, uh, let's go and see what we can do with this. I I'm going to run this model dynamically, so I have to sign my simulation time, uh, assign it as infinity and you have to go to your model browser and check your model browser check all of these uh, buttons and all of these okay so our model is ready for uh, modeling okay this is our uh, main cycle as you can see here first of all we have to assign from the mother block we have to assign uh, some uh, main parameters such as ambient temperature and system productivity. Suppose I need to desalinate uh, beginning from 1500 uh, meter cube per day. Okay. Okay. Let's go inside. Uh, we have here geothermal wheel. In geothermal wheel, we can assign a steam pipe diameter in inch. Okay, for bombing unit, we just we can assign uh, efficiency. Okay, for uh, flash cyclone, we can assign steam uh, velocity. Suppose it's around two meter uh, meter per second. Okay, and for MED, for MED, it's quite interesting to deal with. We have to uh, have to go here and. Let's go here and shrink it a little bit. Okay, you can control your model. Okay, let's move uh, to the left. Okay, I have to organize my okay my shape, my figure. Okay. Um, anyway, as you can see here, this is our main cycle. Okay, um, let's double clicking on MED. What we have here, as you can see here, uh, uh, seawater temperature, suppose it's around 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, and ejector design, oh, and we have salinity. Suppose I'm going to use salinity around 35,000 uh, ppm, and the blue down salinity is around 60, 65. Let's go for 65, 65,000 BBM. Okay, this is a ratio. This is a ratio kilogram per kilogram. Okay, for steam ejector, you can uh, assign uh, ejector compression uh, ratio and uh, the motive steam pressure. Okay, motive steam pressure is so important uh, parameter in, uh, in kilopascal. Uh, in condenser, we can shield diameter and uh, tube diameters. Uh, number of effects, suppose I'm going for uh, six effects. 
demonstrate backing density, vapor velocity. I, I will keep all of these design elements as it was. Uh, condenser efficiency, normally around, uh, or effectiveness, it's normally around 80%. And for uh, brain blue down, uh, bomb, bombs efficiency, we have three bombs here. I will keep this and power cost. Okay. Uh, our main key parameter here is to watch out, um, watch out uh, uh, in going to the flash cyclone here inside. We have to keep watching our effect on dryness fraction. Okay, this is dryness fraction here. Okay, what is the dryness fraction uh, during the flashing process? Okay, going inside the um, uh, flash cyclone. Okay, but first of all, I have to. Uh, I'm sorry, flash cyclone here and controlling. Uh, I have to keep watch on uh, the dryness fraction. That's uh, okay. I have to run, run our model and see what we can do. Okay. Okay, uh, we are waiting for our results. Okay, simulation time. We are still waiting, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, okay. Our drainage fraction is around 50% for uh, steam versus uh, uh, water content. Let's go and increase. If you increase the motive steam, increasing motive steam, you will increase uh, the, the percentage of steam. So uh, let it. Suppose I'm going to decrease a little bit. Okay, increasing and decreasing. I think it's normally around. Let's go and check our uh, changing steam ejector. Okay, okay, steam ejector increasing uh, pressure ratio would decrease uh, the dryness fraction. Okay, what about uh, brain blue down? Suppose I, I, I would like to decrease. Uh, okay, decreasing brain blue down temperature would they increase the percentages of uh, of steam okay okay oh, oh, seawater effect there's no seawater effect it has significant um, effect on um, flash uh, volume of the flash cycle okay okay that's be okay come again again and i i would like to increase up to 2000 uh, kilopascal 2000 Okay, okay. This is nor uh, are um, nearly uh, uh, um, full steam percentages. Okay, so let's go and do well. At two thousand and six hundred, so we need around four hundred de degrees Celsius from your thermal well. Okay. So we have here total mass flow rates around uh, 2.4 kilogram per second, and we have to dig around uh, 2.8 kilometers according to uh, American standards. Uh, 2.8, nearly three kilometers deep, uh, well depth in feet, uh, hole diameter, okay, pressure, uh, well head pressure. Uh, silica concentrations around 800. Okay, for bombing power, we need around 200, uh, uh, 266 kilowatt of bombing power for geothermal well. Okay, for flash cyclone, as you can see here, uh, we can we can discover a condenser temperature, top vapor temperature, well temperature. This is well temperature and a pressure of the wheel and salby and trobies and so on. Uh, okay, this is our condenser pressure through the MED and top steam uh, pressure through the MED. Okay, let's go for the similar well. You can 
discover some design aspects such as area of the tube inlet to the flash cyclone outlet diameter uh, height of the flash cyclone width uh, tank volume uh, total tank volume uh, mass flow rate total mass flow rate uh, water co uh, contents uh, in the flash tank dryness fraction so on. for MED we can discover as you can see here this is steam ejector model steam ejector model as this is a compressed vapor pressure uh, steam saturation temperature uh, in entrainment ratio uh, expansion ratio and we have here um, another cross section area diffuser area and so on so let's go here okay so we need um internal vapor flow rate around 1.12 uh, motive steam flow rate uh, total steam fl mass flow rate uh, this is a um, distal profile as you can see here uh, total feed flow rate uh, brine profile um, salinity profile temperature profile okay uh, distal profile uh, and so on and this is our end condenser you can discover area number of tubes uh, cooling flow rate and sure you can increase your uh, productivity mass flow rate and see the effect on, on the cycle uh, effect by effect area uh, okay tube lens power of, of the bumps exergetic analysis here okay exergy of the steam inlet outlet exergy of the inlet feed distillate brine and so cost analysis for cost analysis is our total water price final total water price is around uh, 1.1 uh, us dollar per meter Per, per cubic meter of uh, productivity, specific bulk consumption. So we can control your uh, design aspects in order to reach to your um, optimized value, uh, uh, which optimized value related to the cost and the design at the same time. Uh, so you can go here in MATLAB workspace and you can, this is brain profile. You can plot your brain profile easily and distal profile okay effect by effect okay and so on and this is a uh, pressure evaporation pressure as you can see here quite normal okay uh, going to signal inspector let's go and see uh, some outputs okay what we have here um, suppose I need uh, um, this is a uh, well pressure fluctuating according to the effect of a steam ejector on uh, our cycle. Uh, this is the dryness fraction, uh, okay. Uh, flash tank water contaminants, total mass flow rates, flash tank volume, okay. And uh, flash, we can add here flash tank width and flash tank uh, height okay uh, bumping power uh, will this is well temperature uh, silica concentration and um, well depth okay uh, this is uh, total water price total plan total annual plan costs uh, and we have here specific bulk consumption and you can discover many many uh, of favorite parameters in the condenser lens and the condenser um, let's go and see here uh, this is flow rate remaining constant okay number of uh, tubes uh, okay so uh, based on your model you can uh, change uh, many parameters you would like to change it's quite normal here uh, you if you would like to increase your productivity you can you can change salinity you can change operating temperature steam ejector pressure you can uh, 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 change 
you you have to make some kind of synchronizing between uh, uh, pressure and design and temperature and I mean operating conditions and um, cost some kind of uh, of the optimization related to the put you on, in your mind uh, cost analysis operating conditions effect and design uh, aspects finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our uh, model uh, don't forget to uh, like share uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much